Back in Miami. Back to reality. I had to come home and get back to it. We got a little tour. So this is actually my mom's apartment. It's where I grew up as a kid. She's out of town for the summer in Europe. I live like three minutes away, but I don't live on the beach like this, so. I thought I'd spend a couple weeks over here and take in the Miami paradise. I mean, California was unbelievable. Caught some sick waves. Got to see some good people. It was like a perfect birthday trip. But yeah, another episode of Surf Rap Vlog. Back in Miami, back to reality. It's a vibe. Yeah, I'm gonna take you through a little day in the life of surf rap when it's flat in Miami. So first thing I'm gonna do is cook some breakfast. I got these whole wheat English muffins. I stopped eating white bread. Oh shit. Fuck. She's got no toaster, but let me tell you, this George Foreman does the job. Leveled up from two eggs to three eggs. Little by little, I'm gonna start eating more. Oh wait, it didn't even crack though. I know for the health freaks we're like, oh, it's not healthy. Trust me, I would love to have some fresh squeeze right now. <laughs> but don't worry, I'm gonna make up for the healthy vibes with all of this when I'm done with the gym. Get ready. One thing's for sure is that these whole wheat English muffins, they're not close to as good as the white bread, but they're definitely healthier, I hope. Nothing better than a breakfast with an ocean view. So I've been getting a few questions in the DM, let you guys know a little bit more about me. People wondering what it is I do other than just rap, make beats. People asking me how it is I survive of being a musician when I'm not like a fully blown out, made it musician. Look, the answer is you gotta have other hustles. Luckily, over the past couple of years, I've been able to really pivot into a couple different lanes that all somehow come back full circle with music. So for example, two and a half years ago, I picked up a camera, I invested into a sick Sony camera, all the equipment, stabilizer, gimbal, lens, all that stuff. And I started shooting, because I know that in this day and age, content is everything. And there's a huge demand for that, whether if it's restaurants, whether if it's houses, whether if it's music videos, whatever that may be. I like to be creative. I like to really enjoy what I'm doing. So, so if I can find a way to be able to make money doing something that I enjoy, then it's a win-win. Of course, it's a lot riskier, but I love the risk. I love living on the edge and I love the challenge. So after a year of working with that camera and graduating from YouTube University, well, technically I haven't graduated because there's always something new to learn on YouTube. I basically watched as many video production tutorials as possible on the camera, on the lens, all that stuff. So I could really just learn how to go about it and, you know, try and turn it into a business. Little by little, I started getting jobs. I did a few real estate videos to kick it off. And from there, I opened up an Instagram. I started my own production company. It's called Steph Co Productions, which is different from Surf Rap, even though they both cross over at times. See, what's amazing about the whole video thing is that music and video go hand in hand. Whether if it's music videos, whether if it's film, whether if it's commercials, music and videos are a marriage. They're usually tied in with each other. So luckily, the main thing that I was focused on before I pivoted into video was music. So I was able to take all my skills in music production and music songwriting and blend them with whatever video jobs I had. So I wouldn't have to go to any of these websites and pay for a membership for the royalty-free music. I would just use my own music which also pushed me to make different types of music because let's say for real estate videos, I, I can't just put a hard trap beat. But I learned how to make smooth, jazzy, mixed with hip hop, lo-fi type beats that could really complement to the real estate videos I was doing. So after a year and change of studying and practicing and shooting and doing as many free jobs as I can as well, you know, to really just pick up the experience and, and learn, I got to the point where now I have enough video jobs here and there to keep me going. But you know what? Artistically, the real estate videos can be a little bit boring for me sometimes. Like I said before, I love music. So then I started working with other artists, doing free music videos for other artists, just to get my name out there, just to get more practice. And in turn, they would come back and then I'd be able to charge. So videos play a huge role in my income. Thank God I pivoted from just rapping 
and I took on music production. The same way I did with videos, watching every YouTube video, I learned how to produce music. It took me some time though to get the beats going. It wasn't easy, but I love it. You know, when you love it, you're just gonna be more interested in learning about it every single day. So every day I just watch more videos on YouTube. First I started off with just classic hip hop beats. Then I started doing trap. Then I was like, man, the Latin market is taking over. I live in Miami, there's Spanish artists everywhere. So I started learning how to make reggaeton type beats and more, more Latin crossover type beats. Instead of just being a rapper like I was before, I have more things that I can offer. I have more value I can give people. And now I'm at the point where I have different artists I'm producing for. I'm talking whole albums, whole EPs, and I'm able to do package deals where I can produce your whole entire album and shoot you music videos. So it's a two in one package. I mean, come on, it's not just about working hard. It's about working smart. Thank God I put in the time though because it's allowed me to be more versatile. Now I have more I can offer people. And my third hustle that I've been doing for the past couple years, is I'm a surf instructor. On my home break, this is where I grew up, like I said, this is exactly where I learned to surf. And I thought, you know what? Why don't I bring things full circle and just teach people how to surf over here? Obviously it's not happening today, because it's flat. And like I said, you know, I have to come up with other hustles because I can't teach people how to surf every day. Even though it's great income when it happens, I just physically can't. Look, there's not one ripple in the water. So these are the days when I'm working on videos, editing, producing for people. But yeah, this is this is my spot. I've got a cabana over there. I keep all my boards in there. I hop on my bike. I take the bike trail over here, park my bike, grab my boards, bring them out to the beach. I meet my students out there and we get it going. Here's a quick clip of Surf Rap Academy. All I want to do is surf now and get lost in the way yeah. I'm about my wax in my surfboard Let's get lost in the way yeah, 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 yeah. Lost in the way yeah, yeah, yeah. Lost in the way yeah, yeah, yeah. Lost in the way yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm glad I'm on vacay No work, nothing to be sad about it's time to So if you like that and you think you want to give it a go Reach out to me at the Surf Rap Academy and we'll get you in the water, set you up with a board, and get you riding some waves. Another question I've been getting is, how do you survive as a surfer in Miami? I just get by. I'm telling you, it's not easy. Being a surfer in Miami has got to be one of the hardest things ever. Luckily, I grew up over here, so I'm a little bit numb to it, and I'm used to just having flat spells where it goes flat for weeks. When the waves do come, we really appreciate it, even if it's some crappy little waves. I lived in California a few years and I got spoiled like the rest of them because there were waves every single day and you get lazy. All right, let's hit the gym. Dude, you left your sunscreen with me, buddy. I'm not gonna lie, it's really good. All right, as you heard, they're gonna do a fire alarm test. Perfect time to get out of the apartment and get a workout in. What's up, buddy? Oh, good. Beautiful day, man. What a day, huh? All right, about to hit the gym. Boy, is it hot out here. 110 degrees, they said it would hit. It's got to be the hottest day of the summer. Left on three, two, one, turn. Oh, the wife and kids? Great, thanks. There you go. What a morning. Hit the gym, went for a swim in the ocean, the jacuzzi, 
And now it's time to make us a nice protein shake. So if you guys wanna know what I put in my shake, this is what I put. Some organic hemp hearts, acai powder, organic berries, they're fire. Some cocoa powder, some protein powder, oat milk, a banana. Three, two, one. All right, so there we have it. Focusing on health, getting the body right, the mind right. This is what it's all about. I want to be able to do the things I need to do, my fullest potential. You know, this vlog was just letting you in on my life, being a little bit more vulnerable, letting you guys in, and taking you through the process of a down day when there's no waves. Without further ado, let's test out the shake. Cheers. <laughs> this girl's freaking out. <laughs> She doesn't know it's a manatee. You see what I'm saying? If you don't know it's a manatee and that thing pops up on you, you're gonna be a little bit startled. <laughs> oh, shit. Look at her, she thinks it's a shark. Oh my god, this is too good. These guys all's up. Oh, this is too freaking good. Thank you.